Wildlife photography can be challenging. More than most types of passions, it can require a lot of skill and require you to grow at a really fast rate, learn at a really fast rate. And um, today we're gonna be learning about three of the biggest things that I wish I knew when I started wildlife photography. When I first started out doing wildlife photography, there was a lot of things that I did wrong and I needed to learn. One of those things was um, I would always care so much about getting close to the species that I forgot how crucial scenery was. Without a good scenic shot, really it affects the wildlife image so much more than you would imagine. Another thing that I, I didn't realize the importance of till later on in my career was learning that strategizing and understanding and researching the species that I'm after is so important because if you aren't able to do those things, you're not gonna be able to get the best shots of that wildlife species that you were hoping for because when you understand the species, you know where and how to capture it. So all this leads me to my point. The biggest three things that I wish I knew when I started wildlife photography years ago was one, I wish I knew how to edit well. Editing poorly, like when I look back at my old photos, they're just very poorly edited. And if I would have learned how to edit better in the beginning, I wouldn't have had to spend so many hours going back through old shots trying to re-edit them. So editing well was definitely a huge thing for me. The second biggest thing for me was definitely understanding wildlife behavior in order to get the shots that I was trying to get. So back then capturing photos of wildlife was so much more difficult because I didn't know how to approach them, I didn't know where to find them, and I didn't know the behaviors they would be acting on in order for me to capture them. Now number three and one of the biggest things was definitely understanding my camera and how to use this effectively and efficiently, how to set up good angles, what is a good angle, how to use all these manual um, function stuff like that, how to expose manually, how to manually focus, and all of those things have helped me incrementally in the field nowadays. So just a few days ago, I launched my wildlife photography mentorship program available to the public for the first time, and I've gotten some great feedback so far. I've been able to work with wildlife photographers over the past few weeks and months all over the world from all different skill levels and help them improve a lot of the things we even talked about today. I know for me, one of the biggest things that helped me grow in my wildlife photography in my early days was having people who mentored me and critiqued me and helped me grow as a wildlife photographer. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check out the website in the card above or in the link in the description below. And I'd love to work with you guys in a mentorship role and be able to help you guys learn how to understand wildlife photography well at whatever skill level you're at. Ultimately, all of these things I learned came from a place of needing to acknowledge my need for growth as a wildlife photographer. And I'm so glad I did because I've learned so much over the years. If you look back at my early photos to my current photos, it's just a night and day difference in the amount that I have learned and the skill set I've gained with wildlife photography. It makes me so excited to see what the future has and I'm so excited I've changed this far. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are ready to take your wildlife photography to the next level, make sure to check out my website in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.